This podcast is a proud member of Culture Box. Whether you enjoy geeky reviews, comedy, or original fiction, you can open up the Culture Box and find something excellent for your soul. Point your web browser to culturebox.media. You left the channel open for another to take your place. And the final horror of all reality that Zeos has shown you is that everything that happened was essentially your own fault. Playing games with strangers You know there's no danger So come on in, we're all friends Playing games with strangers That was an info dump. <laughs> so what did we all see? You just, how, well, actually, how did you react to that? I mean, that's, you, you tell them what they, what they saw. Cause you guys didn't see the child. None of us um, perceived that happening. Um, no, you just saw whatever, however, whatever reaction he has during the. Yeah. I think what they would have seen is um, they would have seen Wilder reach forward gently uh and then shortly thereafter just kind of like slowly like sink to his knees and kind of end up hunched over um almost like he was in pain that's what they would have seen and you hear oh. a, you, you guys turn around as you see as you hear a soft gish as as uh wilder's knees hits hit the gory surface of the uh tower floor of the remains of those who were eviscerated two nights prior. Imran, I, th- I, I think you hit him a little too hard. Um, Wilder? Wilder? Are you... Em does the, like, hovering hand thing where she doesn't, like, actually want to touch you, but, like, um... You're, you're massaging his aura? They're there. <laughs> Wilder, are you okay? This is all my fault. No, no, no. We, we won. Pardon? We won. Yes. N- um... And you no, this did, you did a great this is my job, fault. Violet. No, poo, poo. Yes. Everything that's happened to us getting to where we are now, I set all of this in motion. I opened the door for Zeus to usher in Carrick. I was the original one, and I've uh, for- forgotten. I think you're being a little too hard on yourself. The original what? Did I you? was the original conduit. Did you know? Did you know? I guess that's, that's my first question. Did you know that that's what you were doing at the start? Because uh, um, from my experience with Zeus, he's not exactly forthcoming or honest or the most, you know, generous of people. Well, so here's the thing. I went to Waterdeep to take out Orbog. Right. right. Correct. And part of my job is learning the area, uh, integrating myself, um, becoming people in order to do that, in, to, in order to accomplish a job. And in my my research of Waterdeep, I, I found this old text and I, I was doing it to protect LL and I wanted to make myself powerful enough that nobody could ever take it from me. And in doing so, I gave up um, pretty much my entire self, and then, and then the the ritual was incomplete, and I I left the door open, and Zeus walked in and brought Carrick, and it's a long story, and it's all coming back after I don't even remember how many years, but it's all my fault, and. I don't mean to, you know, not say that there's not responsibility to be had, because I'm, you know, whatever you chose to do, you chose to do it, right? But you're also right. not responsible for everything that Zeus has done, or Carrick has done, because you didn't make them. You didn't create them. 
and they already came with those desires in place. And like I said, even if you were to find a book that told you that this was how to do it, I doubt that it said the world would end if you did. Because I don't think this, everything that's happened, you would have done it if you knew. Because it would have put LL in danger and that would not have been your goal. True, but I opened the door. Yeah, well, I've opened a lot of doors. You know, it's... Callum is excellent at opening doors. Well, apparently I'm terrible at opening doors, so... You did a good job. Uh, yeah. We all need work on closing doors sometimes. But again, you know, sometimes you open a door and you don't know what's behind it. That doesn't mean that it's your fault if there was, you know, a couple of sticks of dynamite there. You didn't put them there to begin with. Sometimes things happen. Felix. Yeah. Okay, do you remember the first time we met? Hmm. That was a f- that that was a few years ago. It, it was it, it was in a dream. Remember, I showed you, I showed you Dunward Dale, I showed you Fenric Coldwater. Mm-hmm. I said you can be better than who you are. Mm-hmm. I do. I was showing you. I said that because I was showing you aspects of yourself. I showed you. The aspect of yourself that you saw as your own purity in Dunwood. I showed you the aspect of yourself at your most principled with Fenric. You have reacquired these aspects, and in the process, you have become a better. You have become better than. And I believe on the path that you have chosen, you still can become better than you are. To destroy yourself or demean yourself. And the progress that you have made would be folly, because you have grown since then, and you are no longer that person. You're right. You cannot hold other people's decision. You cannot hold yourself accountable for other people's decision. You may have left the door open, but you did not invite Zeos to into the room, so to speak. And you know, if there's one thing I've learned, I haven't done all the reading yet. I'm working on it. A lot of reading to do. Uh, it's mostly just that you know grace and redemption don't really require you to do anything so there's hope i guess and, and um what well uh, um i just want to say if if right now you're feeling overwhelmed and like you you can't figure things out and sad and th- that's that's okay this is a this is a rough moment uh, this is a lot so we're not here to um solve everything or, or or you know like we're not gonna make you happy or anything I just we're, we're here as you're going through this and um wh- whatever you need um we're, we're around for you you're our friend Wilder no matter what you've done and um yeah that's that's what I've got to say here's a hug I appreciate also it. comes in for a hug <laughs> Okay, let's let's do this, and then we can what, work on whatever we're doing. Everybody in, big hug thing, now. Oh, someone make us be an art of this group hug. I love this. This is a great hug. Come on, get in here. You, you. Oh, um. Oh, shoot. Amira. Uh, what? The you, you know, Mira. Yeah. That Mira. I totally yes, knew before on. today. <laughs> come on in, Mira. She just comes up behind Aileen and like hats. Eileen's shoulder. She doesn't like put her arms out and just pretend like she's everyone on the <laughs> other side just... of the hug from Mira, just like <laughs> patting someone else's back. <laughs> Group hugs aren't my thing. <laughs> Mine either. So, um, uh, Mister Keeper, you're you're right. I I do need to mark this moment um, and move forward, and I'll do that. Uh, thank you, thank you, muted John. Just remember, never forget where you come from, but always keep your focus on where you're going. Because walking while you're looking behind you, you're going to run into things. That's true. Done it. Right now, even. Yeah. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> My foot. Actually, Mira, kind of... Mira is a great oh. example of this. What? Mm-hmm. She has come from... As he as he begins to look at you with inquisitive eyes, and he as he morphs back into the form of a uh, Kieran, I can see on you that you come from a very unpleasant background. But you have taken the time to nurture 
an in, a certain individual who shared a very similar background. Um, Not only have you chosen to be better, but you have chosen to enhance the laugh of another individual. You have more in common with the situation than you know. Yes, Pooh, Mr. I I do I do see your hand up. I was just saying that was very personal for you to be sharing with us. Um, that was a lot. I don't know if she. she I don't know if she wanted all, us to know all of that. You got to ask before you do those things. Kind of like the hug, <laughs> you know. In the in the grand scheme of everything, in the light of eternity, sometimes I do lose track of that. I do apologize, Mayra. I am a bit of an oversharer because everything is obvious to me. That's another. Statement. Well, that's questionable. <laughs> also, if I, you want to, if you want to do me, I mean, I'm an op. Is there anything you want to say about me? If you want, to, we can also pretend like we didn't hear it, because I've already forgotten what he said, and I usually don't listen to him when he's talking. Your dad is very strange. Yeah, runs in the family. Well, anyway, though, so you should meet Wilder's dad. <laughs> Wait, I don't know who that is. You should meet my... I don't... Um, <coughs> you should... M just goes, you shouldn't meet mine. Speaking of dads, we should probably find Aileen's dad in a moment. Yes, please. And oh yeah, we gotta go to hell. Oh, Stop Mira, that. do you want to go to hell? <laughs> Why? Because that's where my family is. Yeah, vacation. I figure Especially after everything that's happened here, we could take a nice little trip down under. Because that is where... The other big bad is. They got a time. Actually, sh- he's not there. They he's got a, in a different space. They got a timeshare down there because that's where yeah. that's where timeshares originated from. Can is that where you originated? Yeah. Uh, did he timeshared? It, it was it was it was a joke. I was I was making a I was trying to make a funny to bring some levity to the situation. But all right, isn't that what you put in bread? What's the that, that's that's leaven. Oh. Got it. Oh, I never, never touched the stuff myself. Hmm. I mean, I could get you to hell. Oh, I mean, I could get us there too. And you've already taken away my opportunity to remove a curse, but it's fine. It's not like I was really, you know, happy well, I'm about not, these things I'm that not, I can do. I'm not looking for another reason for you to be upset at me. So, uh, I'm here if you need me. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna take my leave. I got some uh, catching up to do on business. Are you able to like get, get there? Uh, I just know, like, Leona said that there was some trouble with Road souls getting where they need to be, so. You do have a point. <clears throat> a lot's happened. Just wondering. A lot's happened yeah. since I went on sabbatical. Um, oh. Good time to do that, by the way. In- you did pick a really good time. <laughs> including the... It's almost as <laughs> Mr. Keeper. Yes, uh, ma'am. I might be death now. Yes, I do see that. Uh, congratulations. And, and- or what, bugs the what? aspect of taxes. What am I no. supposed to do? No, he's not. <laughs> On a normal basis? It's like, a joke, how do I? It was a joke. Like, shush! All of you! Okay. Shush! Good grief. Leona made it look so easy. I just don't know what to do. Well, Leona made it look easy because Leona was just... She was really... She made everything look good. I mean... She was killing it. Really? Really? Well, nobody needs your fan girl. Fan boy needs I'm going to go to that corner way over there. I'll, if you <laughs> need should. me. You should. You uh, should. She, uh, she just was herself. Here's the thing. You aren't death. You are the aspect. You, pres- you preserve the humanity or the, the essence. But you are not death of in and of itself. The function in and of itself is inherent with living. It's the opposite side of the same coin. You just merely shepherd it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I should return that sickle. No, I'm sure that would make for a grand, uh, everything is just... Spazzing out. Oh, no, no, listen, I have a question. Where is Leona now? She was being... I'm pretty sure you were there when... I'm sorry, I'm back from the corner because I also had a question. Um, I'm pretty sure you were there when Aileen said that Leona sacrificed herself to Carrick so that she could live and have the aspects in her. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Now that you're here, is the little time bubble that was keeping Mom safe still in place? Because if not, I have a place you should go. Oh no, it's still there. Okay, good. All right, I'm going back to my corner now. 
I remember when the bubble came down, so it's going to be a minute. Can I join you, Cal? Like the wall? Yeah. Hi. Come on over. It's nice. You can explain some of this to me. Yeah. We'll just, I'll make a cup of tea. Time? I can explain time to you. No, 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 no. No, no. So, since Carrick is not in hell, and, and Zeos came here, do we need to go to hell first? Anyone? Yes. That's my answer. Would I, you like I to elaborate? You your family is there, correct? Yes. And and I w- would very much want to go and save them and put them back in bodies and make them alive again. But then it seems like that's a good priority to have. I just, if I do that, if we do that, and then Carrick destroys the world, have I then caused my parents more pain? Well, I believe if everything gets destroyed, there will be no more pain. But I think the conversation that just happened is also pretty good for shedding light on the fact that you are allowed to make decisions and not assume that the end of the world is your fault. No, no. Just their pain. As the world did. Pers- their personal pain? Oh. Yeah. Well, it did seem as though if the world ends, it will be quick. Well, that's as I opposed to, I opposed to, um, I imagine that being in hell right now is less quick. I've never been. Is there so even a way? Are you aware of the soul stuff? This is a lot. Uh, Rhoda seems to be aware of some things when she was in there and when you put me in there and I talked to her. Not like of pain, but she seemed to have a great level of emotional turmoil, which is pain in and of itself in a very real way. So, yes. Okay. okay. Well, then I guess I'm going to be selfish and say, let's go to hell. I can get us there. I, I have a. Have you okay, rested so up from your Mira, spells? If you, look, if you look in this corner, this. <laughs> you guys know what's really funny that I forgot about? We had a hero's feast the day before, so we already had advantage on wisdom saving throws. Daggum. And temporary hit points. Not like we needed it, but. <laughs> okay. Um, now, give me a second. And he po- and the keeper pops out of. Your guys's view. You got no. You got to be careful popping when you have an aspect in you because it'll go away. <laughs> no, I like like <laughs> it, he just kind of bamps out of your guys's perception for a moment. Well, it's nice and all having the keeper back, but um. And then you hear another. Thump. He's a little that, bit too talkative sometimes. You know what I mean? Who's that? Who? Uh, oh, uh, my uncle Orbog. My uncle Orbog. Orbog's your uncle. Very talkative. <laughs> Uh, Bob's your uncle. Through marriage. Oh. Uh, no, Bob's my uncle. Aileen. Through marriage. Aileen, yes. were you, you said you wanted to go to hell because of your mom and dad? Yes. They, they were in that room. I believe you showed it to me. Yeah. They the were, room. They were in that room. Look under your chair. Are they not? And you get room? a parent. And you get a parent. And everybody <laughs> gets a parent. <laughs> This is like the Emran looks upset by this. <laughs> <laughs> Emran, your dad's under your chair. She'd, ra- <laughs> she'd rather not. <laughs> this is like the opposite of a Disney movie. I just got like this image of like animaniacs with keepers like popping out from under people's chairs, looking like everybody's parent. <laughs> <laughs> I got a parrot. <laughs> I got a rock. Um, oh, did, you, uh, did you say parrot uh, or parrot? Okay. Um, Back to the more serious topic. Um, their souls wh- where have been, are they? They've been redistributed. What? You can do that. No, I can't. They have soul cells. No, I just mean the general you. Like, you. What them. What does that mean? I didn't realize we recycled. Yeah, what she said. Well, I mean, your friends tried to recycle you into the corpse of another person once. That's different! Is it? It was more of a... What? It was temporary. Yeah, it was temporary measurements. Uh, Measurements wasn't the right word, but I knew what I meant. (laughs) Thank you. I knew what you meant. We figured out you wouldn't fit, so (laughs) we... I don't... The body was too big. I don't know if you... I don't know if you noticed, but... A lot of things around Towerfall seem to, like, I was, I, I watched the time, st- I, when I popped out, I was watching the time stream from the time that I dipped the into The highlight my, reel. Yeah. Just, just, you know, 
because <laughs> that's a thing I can do. Um, oh, you're amazing. I know. Um, <laughs> and humble. I'm the most humble person you're going to ever meet. Yeah. What was your favorite part? Okay, okay. Let's uh, back to the point. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but when things started to break bad for Towerfall, things started getting messed around a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, part of that was redistribution, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, what, do, what do you mean by that? Well, like things getting messed around and redistribution. Can you explain both of those in smaller words? Well, <laughs> you see, existences get redistributed to other existences. And okay. so the essences of individuals get messed around in the. Like, I wasn't here to shepherd the time stream, and apparently whoever was my substitute didn't do a very good job of it. Uh, Someone didn't give me a matter. crash course, so... so but We're talking conservation of matter, right? No, it's more thermodynamics. You see, a soul, okay. a soul is a form of energy. Uh, you cannot mm-hmm. create or destroy energy. It can only be redistributed yes. into different forms. Exactly. Okay, excuse me, um... Right. Mr. Mr. Keep, mm-hmm. but, yeah. Um, just Mis- Mr. Dog Keeper. Um, could you maybe dumb this down like about four hundred degrees? I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just, just try to try Please, to try to you. try to stick with me. Um, uh, it's been kind of a day, I, week, month, I, years. I get it. I get it. Um, basically, what it comes down to is uh, the existences of people, the roles that they fill, got swapped around. Um, some of it, some of it was soul. Some of it was just existence in general. Uh, but your mom and dad have new forms now, and oh, very, very much, very much in the same way that Wilder uh, could not remember. Uh, no, but he's still the same form. Yes, but the problem was that parts of him were redistributed elsewhere. I don't like that. Uh, is this a wild? Is this wilder? And so, and so for his for his mind to catch up, he came up he came up with a new existence for his mind to maintain its sanity. I believe you've met your parents before. Here, mm. oh, oh, do they oh. do they know, or are they the ones that we met that that aren't? Do, are they in the bakery? Do they do they, do they know who? Th- they use fake vanilla now. But do they know that is they? not my parents? Yes. Well, it's time to kill your parents now. <laughs> We've got a new fight. Uh, okay, so how do we, you know, so they essentially took a bunch of things. Them? Yeah, they put a bunch of things in a bowl and shook it up and then handed it out. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, sort of. That, that, that's that's a very good way of putting it. <laughs> See, you, Lord, how am I going to explain this to Arlen? Elaine. Elaine. Yes. I know how you can get your parents back. Give them real vanilla. Exactly. <laughs> I'm tracking with you, honey. Oh, yes. how, do we, how do we how do we remind them who they are real Flat vanilla them. what does vanilla have to do with them it's a Everything. long story it's a euphemism what so what <laughs> um i'm sorry dear vanilla? he has the gi- I, he has the gift of speaking in tongues we just don't have anybody who has the ability to interpret actually i do i can also understand all languages <laughs> dad i didn't get that one Yes, my son. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going back to my corner now. Uh, so, okay, now, if they were to like, I don't know. Um, is there a way that if we were to use like magic, we could make them briefly understand and or see things as they really are, or will that not work? Fireball, yes. I like the way you're thinking. Well, I mean, not what I was thinking of, but I mean, push comes to shove. However, you did it with Wilder to make him remember Felix. You've I, done what it did before. We do? Did we hit you in the head? Did no, I do it? Kind of, I think that, 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 was, that was Stumblefoot. Stumblefoot did it. What did Stumblefoot do? Yeah. I could probably do it. I learned from him. A feel, Who's Stumblefoot? Oh, uh, uh, he's another. That, he's another guy. Yeah. There's more you know, of you. Hold on, statue. I have more pictures. <laughs> Come back to the corner. <laughs> To, I, to, to be string. fair, I I know Stumblefoot did it. I don't know what he did. Um, I assume Callum, you could do it, considering. Uh, can I? 
I thought it was well, just something to see if I if that, that would make sense. Hmm? I'm seeing some of oh. is it, would that make sense? I'm sorry, you, I I need to hear the first part of the question because I had two people talking at the Who same. said greater restoration? And I said, would that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can certainly try. But like, would I deduce arcanely or divinely, religiously, however, oh, that I, that might work? I'm a DM. I don't give anything away for free. You got to spend a or roll magic on that. Detective. I, yeah, well, yes. I, here's the thing, John. My pet peeve Just, is asking to roll. That's why I made it a question so you could say, <laughs> hey, roll Arcana. <laughs> well, Squid needs to roll to determine what to roll <laughs> as Cal. Uh, here's, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't know wh- which way you're trying to understand it. If you want to roll Arcana, that's one thing. If you want to roll Religion, that's a different thing. Sure. Uh, so just roll whichever one you want to roll. Tell me what you rolled, and I'll approach it from that angle. Wow, like it's to- a plus zero to both. Oh, so <laughs> then we'll go with Arcana. Like roll for answers. Oh, I was going to say Religion because he would a uh, trait stumblefoot with Religion. More, okay, but- they're, they're, that's fine. I uh, twelve. Hmm. You weren't 100% certain, but you, it, it does seem like if someone has a fragmented soul or something that would be barring part of their soul, it would seem like to restore it would make sense. Okay. All right. Who well, knows what he's talking about? Yeah. The logic follows is all I'm saying, but you weren't 100% certain about it. I'm at 90 you know, If all certain. else fails, I'll use a higher spell level something crazy because that's how i do magic around here i cast power power word kill see how that no no don't be silly i want them to be alive (laughs) gotta pop that soul out of their body great okay so we all take a quick nap (laughs) (laughs) why i'm sorry on on the bodies (laughs) no 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 not on the bodies um we don't have to take a nap if you don't want, because I actually didn't use any of those high-level spell slots, because this went very fast. And I mostly I... just used it to, to talk to my dad. So. Mm-hmm. We so, could just uh, all hug each other and fall asleep standing up. Oh, I scared him away. He popped out. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. And stay out. Oh. No, he's <laughs> <laughs> so we go back we to that bakery and we find your parents and i cast great restoration and they remember who they are and that they are have made many errors in their life mainly in regards to vanilla am i understanding this correctly i think so i wouldn't be back at the bakery yeah well we oh, don't that's want, well, true the bakery's not there anymore the oh, tentacles I can, I can, came again well, i saw them though i can find them oh that's true you and i can, yeah. can look for them yeah i have no I got this sugar bakers <laughs> Oh, what they want no, going by sugar there bacon. was a lot of oh. bodies. What are they going by? Yeah, I've been thinking that for a minute. Um, I don't remember. Hold on, I'm looking at notes, and let's see how okay. good I was at it. I think they're going oh. by uh, sugar daddy and sugar mama. Sugar daddy, sugar mama. <laughs> Come yeah. here, sugar daddy. Come <laughs> here, sugar mama. Oh, hey, remember that time you went to the Fontar place, boo? I remember that. I wasn't there. Fun times. That's when I remembered I could speak any language and understand any language. John, while everybody's conversing about parents Sugar and whatnot, Daddy. <laughs> um, I, I would like to, um, not so much loot whatever's left of Zeus's body, but I would like he's to. Gone. Well, My he's gone. My goodness. Again. He's having issues. He said everybody's feed was black. Uh oh. Uh, well, we know that Rashawn was your father's name. Okay. And his wife. That's what I put down. I didn't have her name. Okay. Rashana. Oh, Rashonda and Rashawn. Uh, and I right? have the quote Tilda is hard to forget, but Aileen is a pleasure to remember. And I don't know who said it, but I have it written down in quotation. I love that. Um. That sounds like it should be shirt it does it really does so i'll sweet. have to go back and listen to that episode because that was what a line to figure out what it was does anybody remember what my name was supposed to be at the time alana alana okay because celeste has forgot cool i take notes <laughs> thank god okay what well let's uh head to the 
the survivors, I guess. Uh, who has who has pardon? Let me get Callum out of here for a second. Um, do I still have the YouTube, or does someone else have the YouTube? Because you that would also back. be you gave it to somebody. I don't remember who it was, but right, raise your hand if you have the YouTube. I wouldn't be me. Okay. Was it? Um, was if it? we still have that stick thing, that could help you find them. Oh, that's true. That's a good idea. Have we used it today? No. We came straight just, to fight I this man. I just family. did. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I used it to find Callum. <laughs> he was across the hall. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the corner. Wilder, can I see the YouTube? Oh, absolutely. I will and pull it out of my pack. Not to, to, to dissuade from this, because I think we should do this, but also, have you tried using it to find a level? Uh, Wilder. Not, Wilder not grabs today. It back. Um, well, I would just say that I also have the ability to scry without the stick. Uh, and I could send a message to her, just in general, and see if she answers. Um, Hello, this is Callum. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you could save a couple extra words, that'd be great. But um, uh, Hello, yeah, yeah. Poop. I mean, we could do this in whatever order. That's that's fine. Honestly, um, Alel is more aware that she has been placed somewhere. So let's contact I I mean, her. Leona said she put her somewhere safe. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I I I do trust Leona. And Zeo but, said she uh, he has someone going to get her. He said he might. That sounded kind of like an empty threat, but I, you know, I believe he has power to do things. So he did. Okay, bear with me here. Um, Bugbear, Callum, with you here. Yeah. Could you? That's offensive. Sorry. <laughs> could you find out where Alil is? Um, but don't tell me. Um. Yes. I, I'm I'm a little concerned that if I know and Carrick and I have a conversation, that could be used against me. Sure. Maybe. Okay? Yes. Okay. I, I can't do it until I can cast sending again, but I can do it. Uh, okay. It's just that I was not prepared to cast sending during the fight to Zeus. It seemed like a weird spell to really study right, this right, morning. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And so I'm gonna you're guess- telling me that... We killed one, we have another, and instead we're going to go find someone's parents and someone's kid? Um, That's not really an instead. It's just kind of more of a stair steps. Like I said, it's the sandwich thing. You gotta build Eat it somewhere. Yeah, you gotta (laughs) eat it somewhere. (laughs) Well, the the parents thing is a simple quick trip over to the underside of this, this tunnel. And honestly... If I could, if I can use the YouTube, I can go by myself and then come back. Um, I think idea. splitting up is a bad Separate idea. Separate the party. A buddy system at all times, yes. I think, is best. Um, um, and I do have plans of going back that way. So if you want to be a company. That, I mean, I don't, I won't fight company, but. I would prefer it, we don't. It's not necessary for everybody. Right. Well, maybe. We're it's thinking a, safety. We're thinking food. That too. I well, we just had that big feast, you know. You shouldn't be too hungry. <laughs> the feast that I forgot about immediately. Uh, Who's always thinking about food? Aileen's going to pass poo and apple pie. <laughs> just a whole pie? Pass- Where did you have that? <laughs> you don't want to know. In my bag. It's probably a little stale. So, um, Emrin, Aileen, if, if that's where you're headed, that's that's fine. Um, Mara, to address your comment... Um, we, I don't, I, this, this situation went a lot easier than it probably should have. Um, and the, the next person on our list, the thing, not a person thing on our list, um, definitely won't be that easy. So we need some time to regroup Punch. and, um, oh. now that you're here, you can help us make a plan and you can tell us all the things that are right with it and wrong with it. Um, so I, you know, I make I really good plans though, so there's not going to be too much wrong with it. Also, Aileen, do you want to take one of the sending stones? Because last time, me and oh, Wilder that... forgot and took both of them with us together. That's a good idea to have one of those on hand. Yeah, and I just wanted to add that Mira, you cared a lot about somebody's kid not that long ago. But well, well, here's the question: That's a low blow, Orbog. 
I just I don't, registered I, what you said. That is mean. I'm not be saying it mean. I'm saying she cared about Emran's sister. I think there's and someone else. One of them. One of them. There's a, quite a few. But here's here's More. my thing. If we if we are not immediately oh. going to go fight Carrick, then Callum can scry down below where there's food and there's safety and there's less blood. Yeah, I would have say though that scrying only works on one plane, but sending does transcend at the planes. So I can just send her a message and if she doesn't reply, I'll think of something else. I don't know. I got a lot of spells. We'll figure it out. So let's just all go down to where the survivors are. Yep. Sure. That we might as well. Okay. And then we can plan. Uh, Wilder, uh, I also uh, just wanted to let you know and no, I'm not just you calm down, Aileen. Um Wilder. I just wanted to say I find that, that if you tell someone to calm down it really helps. Uh there's you sometimes with, with females you have to put them in their place. Excuse oh, me. Okay. <laughs> uh, I cast claim. <laughs> no. Uh Wilder, I just wanted to say that if it was not you that that was used, then it probably would have been somebody else. And the fact that you dealt with it it really speaks volumes about you. Uh, that's very profound, poor bog. Huh. It happens once a year, so. Well, I consider myself privileged then. Same time, time. Can happening we expect after it the again? statement. <sighs> does it have okay. to be a year apart, or does it just yeah. have to happen, like, if we're right at the what, new year? Once a calendar year. Yeah. Uh, walk what, and talk, what? people. Walk and talk. <laughs> this we all walk and talking. <laughs> should we celebrate when it happens? Like, should we make it a holiday? Aileen has a pie. I, do, I, I still pie. have a peanut butter pie and a lemon cake. No. A large one. As they uh, are walking that way, I'm going to stay behind. I would like to look through whatever remains of Zeos there is and see if there's anything of... <sighs> is there anything that I would find important left over? Well, first of all, roll an investigation check. And second of all, you're going to have to tell me what you find important. Um, I mean, cool looking bugs. Not a bug person. Um, a monarch butterfly. So, yeah, I wrote a dirty 20 and I'm looking for, I would assume that there would be some, some, a remnant that connects Zeos to Carrick. I guess that's what I'm looking for. Is there like a physical thing that would connect the two of them. Um, as you're kind of poking around the the yuck that was the remains of Zeus, all you find are the tattered robes, a mask that's made of questionable hide, like hmm, maybe leather face, maybe not. Um, and then a crown that looks like it would probably hurt you if you were to put it turn that crown upside down okay mm. did wilder just loot a body yes sometimes i do um it's a new thing he's trying out yeah yeah uh, yeah i'm going to carefully roll that stuff up in my bedroll and put it in my pack all of it uh i mean maybe not all of it uh let's go some tatters and the mask. Okay. Okay. I don't catch up with the rest of the group. Okay. So uh, you guys are heading. I, I, I had cut out in the middle of your guys' talk. So where are you guys heading? Down to the encampment again? Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys make your way down there and, you know, for, uh, for apocalypse survivors, things are getting kind of cozy down there. It, seem, it seems like Hessa is... Uh, really kind of running the place fairly well and and keeping keeping every everybody calm and as comfortable as possible and utilizing other people's abilities and managing them to create a certain coziness that would otherwise be missing. not gonna lie orbog finds that extremely attractive just <laughs> if you can't if you can't get the daughter so whatever you guys want to do down here. 
Eglin is going to look for the bakery owners. Okay. Roll an investigation check. I would assume oh. that we would all help her look for them because most of us, except for Marino and Emmerin, know what they look like. Okay. Mr. Roll and Mrs. Booger Shaker. Oh. Eight. <laughs> Did you roll it with advantage? Well, it. I did it on roll 20 and it automatically does it twice in case oh. you need an advantage. So your highest one was eight? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you don't... But, uh, Callum will cast no cage creature. Um, on the dragon. <laughs> on the dragon that we're going to fight next. <gasps> Can we make it a pet? He'll fight carrot balls. Oh. On the dead. We're going to cast it on the New plan. <gasps> Orbot can write. But if we happen like to find can... a dragon, like, not what's a the range on locate creature? A thousand feet, and it lasts an hour. Or so, okay, I'll spend an hour wandering among survivors. As you <laughs> mill around the camp for the next hour, you you basically cover four there. They're not dead. He's not dead. Right. So, I went on a bit of a walk. Got around. I don't think they're in this group, at least. Okay. Uh, do you want to use the U two and see if you can? See him elsewhere. I mean, I know there were people that went to other places, like the other castle and stuff. So, do it. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, I, I need to at least make sure that they made it through, and have not uh, died again. So, Aileen's going to use the YouTube. All right. And the one expenditure of the YouTube for the day, as you look through it, you see which one, which of the two are you focusing? Probably my mom. All right. You see her st- sitting, no, standing behind a counter of what it looks like, what looks like a short order diner. Just kind of like she's waiting. Lenny's. Did Lenny survive? Yes. Who, you didn't see any of this, so you're kind of doing some meta. Mm hmm. No. Go in the <laughs> corner. Legitimately, I was thinking Lenny's already. Uh huh. Did. Is, is Lenny's. Up and running? No. It, it well, they are a 24-hour diner, so probably. Well, this is not, it's not like a Waffle House where oh, it only shuts mean, down it, in, a, in great emergencies, is it? Oh, it, it kind of is like a Waffle oh. House. Um, they're kind of like cockroaches. They just never never go away. Place it's has been waffle in business house. forever. Yeah. Yes, that is yeah. very accurate. Yeah. I mean, Lenny shut down the Waffle House that was there, but yeah. That takes talent. I, I believe there was murder involved. There's always murder involved. No comment. <laughs> How big could a house Cannon now. possibly be? Miro was hired by Lenny. <laughs> Take out the Waffle House. <laughs> okay. Just well, don't ask what's in the breast breakfast sausage. <laughs> Secrets they in the sauce. They won't ask what's in the breast breakfast sausage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it looks like they're at Lenny's. So, anybody want to come with me to get some oh, pancakes? Oh, me too. Me. Both of me will come. Yeah. I'll, I'll, both of me will also come. Yeah. <laughs> and she means it. But, I mean, he means it. And both she of means them. it as well. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounded like I was the one saying it, but I was, we were both. The one thing yeah, the- that. Emran and Callum agree on his pancakes. Breakfast. I mean, who doesn't? I'm like actually breakfast? more of a waffle person myself, but French weird. toast, anybody? I am. I am Ooh, a waffle French person toast as well. Quite nice. Especially if you put some pecans in it. Are we walking and talking? Yes, mm-hmm. I yes. believe okay. we had a conversation about French toast at some point that I had never I had any. So I take back what I said. <laughs> you have not. That's true. You haven't. That was a no, deep it, cut. That was no, a deep no, cut. No, no. <laughs> You haven't had waffles because you guys kept talking about waffles. Yes. Oh, then I am a French toast person. <laughs> Which one of you? French, I made French toast at one point in game. Yes, in my house. Which yes. was impressive because we did not have much in our kitchen. Well, we we fixed that. Stumble for We're going to get you some waffles. Footed the bill. Can I have some Briefly waffles? Briefly we fixed that. Yes. I suppose I'm looking forward to having waffles. They're quite Pancakes. They make, make little pools of butter. Which is just nice. Yes, and you can put pizza dough in a waffle iron and you can make waffle pizza and you can top it with cheese and sauce. 
Well, that sounds do not, amazing. Why are you in this conversation right now? Because that is not right. a waffle. Actually, but it sounds uh, that sounds great actually, to me. If you put some bacon and cheddar in the waffle batter and then cook right. it up. Mm. Yep. I well, like the cons. I like the way that everyone is talking about food right now, and I'm starving. I wasn't hungry when we started walking, but now I'm ready. <laughs> well, that's kind of the point. We're, we're ready to go eat. And here and we are. And find your parents. Yes. Uh, you know. Yes. For, well, well, you know. Everybody else. Yeah. I talk about food when I'm stressed. You also I make eat. really good food when you're stressed. And well, I eat food not a, when you're stressed. You must be stressed a lot. You talk about food a lot. There, there is a, a, low, a low level of anxiety that just runs through me at all times. So, yes. Like maple syrup. Like, more like <laughs> lemonade. A low level of maple syrup in you at all times. <laughs> <laughs> runs right through you. <laughs> Might want to see a urologist about that. <laughs> John, is this how you saw the episode going this evening? <laughs> no. I thought we'd still be fighting by now. Who ruined I everything? I did. Yeah. And I'm glad I did. I'm going to start yeah. calling Josiah Eric. Yeah. Believe me, there were like 16 other things that could have happened after that stunning strike. Yes. Yeah. Didn't even have to. We had we plans. Had, we had plans. Wait until we get to Carrick. High level D&D fights are just not fun for DMs. I don't know what to tell you. No, no. No, no. It's fine. I learned. So. Oh, no. no. Remember how? Yeah. Remember how I told you that if you you got to kill them both, or one of them's going to be harder. There yeah. was a reason for that. Yeah. Uh, so you guys make your way up topside again, uh, and by the time you get back topside, the sun's starting to go down. Oh, hey! Remember how there's bad things out here at night? Oh yeah. Ghosties. But don't worry, because I can cast daylight on myself at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Callum's all just a night, beacon walking all around. All day. Callum's walking around with. Uh, kind of that was a beautiful song. We should put Thanks. an album together. I, I do so, believe that has been discussed. Are you guys? Are you guys trying to be discreet and stealth, or are you trying to be fast? Is it bright and light before the before the fast. Sun goes down? Oh, fast. We're trying to be both. Uh, We're, well. Mm, <laughs> Mm. We're too goofy right now to go for discreet, so mm-hmm. fast. Yeah, uh, we're 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 drinking our own Kool Aid. Yep, we're kind of we're kind of we killed Zeus and yeah. it's good right now. Uh, I mean, if you want, I can I can drop a pass without trace on us. Oh yeah, that'd be a great idea. I oh. just I'm trying to remember what happens at night. Uh, the shadow things come out and they try to eat you. Mm. And also there's bugbears now. Oh, yep. did we tell you guys about the bugbears? No. The ghost. Yeah, the spectra, the ghost ones. They're here too. And we still want to go right now? Yeah. I need a waffle. Yeah, I'll cast Pass Without Trace on all of us. So we can move quickly but stealthily. It's... Look at it this way. It's a chance to kill things if that comes to it. Like and a big right. plate so, of waffles. So... <laughs> <laughs> for, for the audience, uh, Squid, go ahead and tell us what Pass Without Trace does. It means no one can find us ever. <laughs> no. It's a plus 10 to stealth. Okay. So this is going to be interesting because you guys are going to be moving quickly. Mm-hmm. So I need you guys to roll stealth rolls at disadvantage, but add 10. We took our shoes off. Um, yeah. And then you stepped on a rusty nail. At least it wasn't rocks again. You said add 10? Yep. 24. Uh, 22. 23. For Callum. No, I meant, I meant 24. Oh, no, wait, 25. Wait, 22 actually that's 33. Oh, no, mine's 34. 23. 34. 23. Uh, 15 <laughs> for Emran. 22 for real. Goodness that everyone else is stealthier than I am. Emran, yeah, we might dead. need to get some WD forty. Yeah, it's you know, big armor. Mira? Thirty-two. Okay. Holy cow, where'd Mira go? <laughs> Thank goodness for group stealth check. Aileen? Oh, sorry. Two. Twenty-two. Oh. Plus ten. Uh, plus ten? No, that's what roll twenty roll. So it it plussed it. No, it didn't. Is that the added? I'm sorry. Yeah. My brain 32. zoned out for a second. So thirty-two. Jeez. Holy cow, where'd Aileen go? 
Listen, okay. the only reason Callum was so low is because I rolled a three. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. That's <laughs> still got a twenty-two. <laughs> yep, I rolled a three and I got a twenty-three because uh, Sometimes high-level players make DMing. I mean, uh, Emrin had plus zero, so I'm at fifteen. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but uh, yeah. So, with, as as for a group role, um, for we, a group role, we all pick guys, up Emran and just carry her, so she doesn't have to walk. You guys carry her around <laughs> like, like she like she won the football game, <laughs> stealthily um, at a rapid pace. <laughs> right. Uh, you guys make your way to to Lenny's with no problem. I'm gonna keep and, an eye out for if I see any spectral bugbears. Ask Callum, not Emran. Um. Roll and or their shadow people. Everyone's not just to the top. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye out. Uh, yes, perception. Let me find my perception stat. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, you on occasion you see kind of a faint green blue glow in the distance and as you kind of squint, you can make out a bugbear form. Do they, how discernible are bugbears? Are you asking me, do all bugbears look the same? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are they zombie walking? More or like, who, sh- who should I be offended by that? By that no, I'm, I'm thinking more like, could I, I, could I, <laughs> could I look at bugbears and be like, oh yeah, that's a bugbear from the house of Sanders. That's a bugbear from this clan. You can't, who has already uh, noticed, has, has in, in, in past known which, a couple of the bugbears that we, thought as ghost they're from the distance that you see them you aren't able to discern the particulars only just the general shape that's Uh, a bugbear and there's not like a label over their head that says their name or no this is this they don't have their gamer tags are turned off at the moment (laughs) um you guys make your way to lenny's and uh yeah true to form it is open 24 hours and the building seems but to the be O's like is burnt like, out on the signs, which just says pen. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, and funny, funny thing enough is like all the buildings around it are completely leveled, but the building for Lenny's in and of itself seems to be untouched. Oh, oh yeah. Possible. Come, come to Papa Waffles. Uh, keep a waffle keeper. Uh, <laughs> waffle keeper. So yeah, as, as you come in there and you say that you see, you see uh, Sonia Chriswin uh, behind the counter, just posted up on it like she's waiting for people to come in. Waffle Keeper. Waffle Winch. Oh, yes. Um, hello. Uh, welcome to, uh, well, I guess Lenny's, I suppose. Uh, how can I serve you? We need lots of waffles and a couple parents. Is this is this her mom? Is that what you said? I, th- I think you're mistaken. I, we d- I don't have a child. No, this is me asking you, not Callum asking her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was John hey, are, responding. Are you, do, do you have kids? <laughs> hey, you got a kid? Hey, did you forget you have a child? <laughs> she might be yours. I, it just sounded like something Callum would say. So. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't It didn't have that highly tidy Irish accent. That's how you know. The other stupid things I just say. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Emery. <laughs> They just come straight from the dome, baby. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is Siona, Sionia, Chris one. I offer my hand and say, hi, I'm Callum. <laughs> she just kind of looks at you and she looks over at the person who's running the uh, flat top, which is uh, Rashawn and goes, Rashawn, we got some more weirdies. Why well, is just, it, you didn't, I, hello. I, it is customary where I'm from to shake hands when I meet someone. It's true. Look at this. Hi, I'm Pooh. No consent. I'm just holding sh- my hand out. We, sh- we shake hands. Hello. Nice to meet Hello. you. Nice to meet you. Just like I that. A, I have a question. Would Siona not recognize me as Alana? Why, oh, that's right. Because you worked at only on Tuesdays for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As Alana. Hmm. She kind of squints at you for a second. That was, That's actually a deep cut right there because I had forgotten. Um, oh yeah, you were not in the call when we were talking about this. No, I had a Riverside moment. Um, uh, she kind of squints and looks at you kind of hard. Just, oh, Alana, were you coming for your job? You kind of left us high and dry for a 
I'm I'm so sorry about that. There were world ended. some things that that were happening that I needed to take care of. She kind of gestures outside. That it? She's looking for her parents. Have you heard of those? Hi, I'm Callum. <laughs> he offers his hand again. <laughs> Just grab him. <laughs> I need a shirt that says, Hi, I'm Callum. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Callum. <laughs> you can respond to this handshake. <laughs> you you can respond to the handshake. <laughs> she, she's, she, she goes, I'm sorry, dear, but you need to understand. Um, we try not to make physical contact with her, yes? What an odd rule. It, it is until you've worked here for more than a day. That's fair. We see. It's, it's from the pans. It's a pandemic. Is she just like over the counter? Yeah. He just reaches over and touches her shoulder then. <laughs> <laughs> Reach out and touch her. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to be weird about it, but. On the I'll face. Just, <laughs> just her middle of her forehead. I don't know. On the shoulder. Hey, hell. He looks apologetic when he does it, but I will reach over and cast greater restoration on her. <laughs> That has to be on a willing person, correct? Nope. I was not willing when she yeah. asked you a on creature me. you touch. Yeah. It's just touch, which is why I was getting her to shake my hand. Yeah. I didn't want to be weird about it. People coming over the counter are why they don't shake hands anymore. <laughs> I am the problem. I've realized. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Hi. Um. <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> Why kill plus? We need name tag stickers. I, I, did, I did not expect so much laughing in tonight's episode. Yeah. Listen, we came in hot with this one. <laughs> um, lukewarm at best. Okay, so as as you as you reach over the ca- uh, counter, um, the bear trap before you off. before you make contact, she shouts. Chriswin, as right before you touch her, and Chriswin turns around right as you make contact, and as you make contact with her and cast this greater restoration, she drops like a person being uh, like a person being uh, We're faith slain healing in the up spirit. in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she, she, Power she, of Christ. She, she she drops like the fir- like the front row at a Benny Hinn concert. Can I try and- to catch her over the counter? Uh, Aileen is gonna like, like start correct. climbing up on stools so she can we get are, to the we other are the side. Problem. <laughs> he tr- so he turns around and goes, "No, ma'am," and he takes a a bucket of hot bacon grease and throws it in your guy's uh, direction. Uh, it's fine. I'll take care of it later. Opens wide. <laughs> I was gonna say this what Orban does. <laughs> I need I need everybody to make a dexterity save. Please. Fourteen. Did he also just throw this like at his wife? <laughs> no, because she she fell. He hit the floor. Oh, well, Callum would like to try and catch her. Like, uh, go with her face first. Who would like to try to catch <laughs> the bacon face? Uh, <laughs> fail your fail your deck save, and you're gonna catch it. All right. Um, I rolled a nat twenty for Callum. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you kind of you jump, which is a twenty eight. Right, you jump you jump the counter and dip under her before she hits the floor. He just pads the fall, really. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> um, I need everybody else to roll, to make the, that deck save, though. <laughs> I was like, I'm a 24. What's At that? this point, Emma's looking like she doesn't know these people. <laughs> She's over there. She's like, no. 14, but in my defense, I was also trying to get over the counter, which is above my head. Mm-hmm. 18 Poo. for me. Okay. Oh, yeah, solid 25 from Pooh. Okay. 22. All right. Mira? At 24. I'm just like going home. I'm, I'm ducking. <laughs> She's like, every, mm. every, oh, so, okay, so Emran wasn't even in the splash zone, so to speak. But I would, every, as, as soon as Callum was being weird about shaking hands, Emran was like, <laughs> I don't know these people. Um, Actually, so basically what happened is everybody else other than everybody else other than uh, Aileen ducked behind the counter as the grease started to fly. Aileen was climbing over the counter and caught the grease in the face. Mm. Um, I'll help soon. I'm trying to I'm trying to find my dice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Celeste, I trust that you won't fudge the roll. Can you roll me 2d8, please? Yeah, he, he doesn't let me roll these things. Yeah. Oh, no, I said no. I needed somebody I trust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Roll those GD six dice. Six total. All right, you take six points of hot grease damage. Okay. As you catch bacon grease in the face. Cool scars, though. Smells good. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Uh, I'll lick that off for you if you don't. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. I'll take awkward things you don't say to your friends for a thousand, Alex. M is going home. M is full gone. I changed my mind. You guys can do what you want. Emrin, come back. She's like, she's like, did we, did we, did we go to hell? Is, is this hell? I think I'm in hell. This is it. <laughs> No one else has to go. I'm here. <laughs> and takes 10 psychic damage from the secondhand embarrassment she's currently feeling. But Welcome to the boss fight episode where we just don't do anything serious. Where we lick each other. Uh, okay, so. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. I'm out. Uh, Mayra left. All right, so... <laughs> they were at Hammer. Best friends now? They went, those people. Okay. <laughs> so, Chrislin looks down and sees you... Isn't his name Rashawn? Over... Yeah, sorry. Rashawn Chrislin. Maybe he uh, goes by his last name. He's one of those um, people. Uh, <laughs> Rashawn, Rashawn looks down and sees you rolling around underneath his wife on the floor. And he jumps down there and starts <laughs> the gesture, uh, like, he's going to start going... We, I mean, Callum reaches up and grabs his hand and casts greater restoration. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cast it twice? Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. I need you <laughs> to make a. De- I need you to make a dex roll in order to catch this hand as it's flying towards your face. I don't have to catch it. I just have to touch it. Well, still. <laughs> okay. Because because you are you are in encum- and actually I'm going to give it to you at disadvantage because you are encumbered by this dead. I am. In- top. Listen. Callum says I'm a catch. She's hands. not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna catch you. Do, 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 do. Eight plus six. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, but my question is can you can you cast greater restoration with your face? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's a ra- it's a range of touch. So. Have you seen <laughs> Callum kiss? <laughs> What did you say, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> said, have you seen Callum kiss? Oh, I think God. Callum and Orbog have a history we don't know about. <laughs> Listen, they were on that day trip together. <laughs> Some things happened. <laughs> Those <Back chain. laughs> sea shanties, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> what happens at sea stays at sea, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, if he punches me in the face, I'll cast it then. Alright. Um, <laughs> now, uh, go ahead and roll. Or I'll kiss him, whichever one I have to do. <laughs> go ahead and roll a d4. <laughs> that was four. Alright, so you take four points of bludgeoning damage as Ooh. he makes contact with your face. My nose is bleeding. He, but then he flies backwards into the counter and smacks his head on the I try to catch him. <laughs> Uh, if you want to try to make a dex make a dex roll with disadvantage because you still have his wife on top of you. What a sentence. <laughs> who who is cleaning up the grease with his tongue? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I can't. I'm Are there crying. is there anybody else in Lenny's right now? Um, One person in the corner. <laughs> Actually, hasn't hasn't budged. <laughs> you, you guys didn't ask when you came in, so you didn't notice. But as you turn around to check, you notice that in the back corner you see Arlen just standing. <laughs> of course, it's Arlen. Tilda's there too. She's with him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Actually, yes, yes. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that was. I think with a with a Honestly, nineteen passive perception, Callan could smell her before he gave this. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly though, uh, first of all, the, when you walk in, all you could smell is fries. It kind of mixes with the smell. 
I don't know. Tilda's pretty powerful. She is. Uh, she's potent. But uh, she's potent. If you, th- if you think, about it, though, <laughs> if you think about it though, think if you were to think of like where would where would Tilda go in the event of a giant emergency? The bingo would not, hall. Would not like a Waffle House seem like a place that she would go to? Since no. it's the it's only thing standing. Dirty. They serve. Yeah, Tilda doesn't seem like a Waffle they House. <laughs> Yeah, but she's too good for the refugee camp. It's true. <laughs> Tilda would be like, I'm not leaving my home. They'll have to come drag me out. And then they did, so she's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you don't get rid of her then. <laughs> but yeah. It's, if they it's, want it's, my house, they have to come and take me from it. it Tilda, Tilda and Arlen are in the back corner and you're watching. The show. Haven't even looked up from their grits. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, no, acc- we don't associate with the commoners. <laughs> she looks over. She looks over at you, alien. Well, I see that your parents uh, did not teach you manners when you were growing up. I would have expected better. I rolled a sixteen on the next save, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were able. To, you were able to catch him. Uh, just after, toss her off, he, catch him. As he ricochets off. Or it. he can just fall on us. And I will pet that fall as well. I'm going to cast Feeble Mind on Tilda. <laughs> this is yeah. the boss fight. This is the boss fight you should have been prepping for. Okay, what's what's the save on that? Oh, 17. What? Tilda's immune. <laughs> it, it, oh. it's, it is so... It's, I'm uh, going to turn into a pumpkin soon, though, guys. Yeah, same. We really, we really need to play this up and and tell the li- listeners that like a lot of people died in this episode, and we were dying of really laughter, dark, dark and serious. <laughs> if Tilda fails this, I need like a really, really succinct closing line from Tilda that's just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Well, Make okay. my day. Uh, it's an intelligent. Oh, on a failed save. Never mind. Uh, yeah, she got it. Oh, yeah, no. So she's just like, well, I just can't believe it. Was that, was that Tilda I heard? <laughs> Alan, come here. Oh, hello, I'm here. You're free. <laughs> yeah. You're free. Uh, Run. <laughs> <laughs> who's I, trying to lick me, Alan? Help. Um, who, It's just, you got a little bit right there. Stop. Just, who, please. Uh, it's not people's sa- boundaries. Not okay. sanitary. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did Arlen stop. remember or did Arlen remember us? Yeah. Who did he forget? He forgot someone. He forgot um, the guild. Oh, that's for, right. For a while he thought he was uh he thought he was Garrick. Hi. That's right. Cool. It and, happens. Uh, as as the as the two Chriswins begin to uh, come to, they oh, they stand up with a look of shock and terror. They and they look at Alien and go, Oh god. Hi, I'm Callum. <laughs> we used fake vanilla. I know. I know. We all make mistakes. It's, Everybody has those days. It's going to be okay, though. Yep, don't let it haunt you for the rest of your life. You gotta move on. Mark this day and move forward. Like you're talking and with to that myself. little piece of encouragement, we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. Um, thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, this, this 100th episode. episode. No, 100 was the last was the previous <laughs> session. Yeah. Um, this we're actually ending on 102. Um, this this none of this went the way I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went about how I expected, <laughs> except for how much laughter there was. There was wow. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm flabbergasted. If you like what you heard, please like, rate, and subscribe on whatever platform you do. That helps in front of other people. Like, and the bigger we get, the bigger we can go with the show. Um, I'm just gonna leave it there because I have them. So, thanks for listening and stay fresh, cheese bag. It's me. You have been listening to the Playing Games with Strangers podcast with the voices of John Haryu, Catherine Serwinski, Dave Clements, 
J.S. Earls, Celeste Mora, Josiah Crandall, Eric Campagno, and Steve MacDonald. The theme music was written and performed by Steve Arthur, used with permission. Find more of his music on Facebook or wherever you purchase music digitally. Please review this podcast wherever you download it from to help other podcasters find our podcast and join our community. And once again, thank you for listening. A massive thanks to our Blade Level patrons, Julie Earls, Aaron Peckham, Josh Clements, Branson Boykin, Debbie Roth, Matthew Cosby, Random Encounters, and Indubitably. Learn more and see how you can support the show by going to patreon.com slash playing games with strangers.